And Canadians will likely be heading to the polls on September 20th. Sources say Prime Minister Trudeau will call a snap election this Sunday in a bid to regain the majority government he lost in 2019. Right now, the Liberals have a lead of over 35 percent in the polls, while Aaron O'Toole's Conservatives fall under 30 percent. The country's top doctor, Theresa Tam, declined to say whether she would advise against holding an election during a fourth wave of COVID-19. So why now? And can this be pulled off during a pandemic? Cormac McSweeney, our Parliament Hill Bureau chief, joins me now with his thoughts. Good morning, Cormac. Good morning. Now, this wasn't really a surprise. We saw a lot of kind of uh, campaign style announcements being being made here. Um, what are you hearing? Well, as you said, it's not a surprise. We've been talking about this since the spring uh, with the potential of a June election initially, and now we're looking at uh, a potential election voting day happening on September 20th. Of course, uh, you know, there are a lot of people closed off right now in the center, in the PMO, not really talking to a lot of media as the prep gets underway for this election campaign. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of buzz around Ottawa right now. The uh, All the parties are doing everything that they can to prepare for this. Uh, as I said, the, li the Liberals and the PMO are not really talking much, and, and all your interactions with them, they say whenever the next election is called, uh, but the opposition seems pretty geared up for this vote, uh, getting their messaging out there, getting their positioning and the events leading up to this day, uh, but the prep as well, getting your uh, candidates nominated. We've seen a lot of uh, candidates being nominated over the last few days, typically a signal that a vote is on the way, uh, so Canadians will have to prepare themselves for casting a ballot uh, during a fourth wave of COVID-19. And a lot of them that we've been speaking to at least this morning, uh, many of them say they're not ready for one. Of course, COVID being cited as a reason why. Uh, do we know what voter turnout is going to be like? We don't know what voter turnout is going to be like, but, uh, you know, if uh, the, some of the provincial elections are any indication, voter turnout might actually go up. Uh, you know, there are different options uh, for Canadians. Uh, they could have mail-in ballots. And if they choose to do that, I think Elections Canada is expecting millions more mail-in ballots than they typically get uh, for an election campaign. Um, elections Canada, as well, is, uh, per, is going to be putting in place as many precautions as they can to help people with um, with in-person voting it's it's interesting to or it's a fun fact if you will at elections that a lot of people don't realize is that you can vote anytime during a campaign you all you have to do is go to the returning office in your constituency and you can cast your ballot if you want to avoid the massive lineups on election day if you're worried and you want to do this in person instead of by mail that could be another option if you've if you've decided your vote earlier in the campaign you can still cast your your ballot uh, so we could see that I mean, the polls right now, uh, there, there were some polls done. Some say, uh, you know, informally polls. Uh, there are a lot of Canadians who say they don't want to go to an election right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other polls who say that uh, Canadians are more prepared now and they're, they're ready to accept the fact that they're going to an election uh, because there have been months of talk about this. Um, and typically with every election, most Canadians say they don't want it. But by uh, voting day, they're, they're going to cast their ballot nonetheless. You mentioned polls right there, and we've been talking about uh, how voters will be casting their ballot. It seems like the Liberals are leading, and I think we do have a graphics that's expected to come up in moments now. But is there significance around these polls and around uh, potentially September being the day? Well, the Liberals, you know, it's believed the Liberals are trying to strike while the iron is hot. They have a very healthy lead right now, um, depending on which poll you're looking at, between 5 and 9 percent. The poll you have up right now uh, gives them about a 7 percent uh, lead. That's a healthy lead. And uh, experts say we would not be heading to the polls if the Liberals' internal polling, which is usually more detailed, didn't show a possible majority for the government. But anything can happen on the campaign trail. Nothing mm -hmm. is a given. In, in modern elections, uh, most of them never end the same way as they started when it comes to the polls. The vote results do not reflect the polls. That Sometimes that's good for the incumbent government. And other times uh, we see a big shift. Uh, let's remember, Justin Trudeau came to power in an election where he was uh, dismissed. He was the third party, and he made history by becoming the first third party to ever jump to a majority government or government in general. So anything can 
can happen. Justin Trudeau should know that because he was able to pull something like that off. And, uh, you know, you, you can't discount what could happen on the campaign trail. Last election, we had the blackface scandal, the blackface mm. brownface scandal. No one saw that ha coming. So uh, the Conservatives and the NDP, they're not out of this yet. And uh, we just have to wait to see what happens when the parties face off. Okay, Cormac, it's going to be a busy few weeks for you. Get some rest, lots of coffee. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Anytime. Okay, time now, 7-11 a.m. Good morning. Dean and Sid. <laughs>